Hey guys, welcome to the video. Welcome back to the house. We're gonna give you our updated tour of the house since we finally have all the things, but you'll have to stick around till after that intro. Roll that intro. I just wanna see the light. So right now we're kind of stationary, so we'll take you off the old tripod here and show you around. Sorry this took just a little bit of extra time too. That's another note we wanted to say. It's taken so long to get all the furniture. With the uh, delays because of COVID and everything else, it has taken us months to get all of our furniture. So we finally, finally have everything. Yeah, three months later or something, right? So anyway, we'll take you around and show you what we got, what the house looks like now. Keith will probably pop, can pop in some like befores and afters for you too, just so if anything's really changed a lot. See you in a second. So first of all, we're in the lower level. This is Eric's desk area. He's got some of his pops over here and he's got this nice and neat little um, black light box for some of his pops. So that's pretty neat now. We also have the full bathroom that's down here that we pretty much have only added a shower curtain to but it wasn't the easiest to find a shower curtain that matched this green color. Next, we have my craft area and such that um, is still a work in progress, but we'll get there. We've got Devin's desk, which is his old desk with a few accessories to hold everything he needs because his old one isn't quite big enough anymore. We've also added a new light da fixture down here that's a little more modern and energy efficient. We have added lots of shelves for Eric's collections. It's, it's not a problem, right? Until you need like five shelves. Um, we still haven't figured out where we want to hang Cinderella at, so she's just sitting down there for now. We have two shelves on either side of the TV to hold speakers and um, part of my Scentsy problem. We have a nice new TV as well. So great for watching movies. Um, we have a new cat tree that the cats love to sit on and watch out the window. We still have our same couch and ottoman that we had previously. We have finally have some things on the walls and surround sound speakers installed. We have a closet under our stairs that we have turned into storage and a coat closet. So yeah, we added this bar right here for our coats. And then we uh, added, a kitty. added a kitty. She's going in there to explore, but we also have like just random stuff stuck in there. Okay, so next is the laundry room. Let me just say it is a mess, but this is like the main storage area we have. So this is our laundry room and server area. So here we have the laundry room, which we are using as the main storage area in the house. We've got our vacuum in here, Eric's server. We're using it to store some of our clothes, um, our kitty stuff. Eric hung this nice rack for me to hang all of my amazing Norwex stuff on. So it's nicely organized. We have gotten a new washer that we love. It is smart and will actually text us when the load is done washing. So that's amazing. The same dryer that was in the house earlier. And we have installed a new water softener. Kind of back here in the corner. Sorry, it's a little dark. Other than that, we just mainly use it to collect laundry and cleaning supplies. Yeah, I would like to point out that I also have like tons of cable runs <laughs> through here. I did like a lot of extra network runs for like uh, access points and there's some cameras around the house. It's uh, been kind of a fun little nerd project for me. Okay, so next we have the garage, which we have actually been able to get my car into now. That's a first. <laughs> Other than that... It's definitely a work in progress still. Um, we are still kind of unpacking a little bit of stuff and trying to figure out where we want some things. And a lot of things just end up in the garage. Um, when we replaced our washer, we decided to keep the other washer because it was still in fine shape, even though I had already ordered a new washer because we didn't know the washer was staying with the house. 
So we are saving it for when Morgan gets her own place. So that's the reason why we've got random washer and dryer in the garage. <laughs> Over here, we've got uh, Eric's workbench area. He has or, um, added all of this metal pegboard to organize all of his toys. <laughs> um, up here, we added this elevated shelf, which is great for storing all of the things. The only thing was, is it was a little heavy to get up there and we don't want to have to do that again. <laughs> It's done though, mm -hmm. and it's yes. amazing. Uh, over here, we just have lots of shelves and storage of things that we still don't know where to put yet. And back there, Eric installed a ladder hooks so he can hang that ladder. And we have added a smart garage door opener to the, the left side that doesn't have a car there currently so the kids could get in and out with their phone. Yep, so this is all kind of new. Like, uh, didn't, was this wasn't here before? And definitely look at all the space, you know, even though we have things in front of it, <laughs> best car, it's been nice to actually park in the garage. Okay, guys, so now we have the front door, which we haven't done a whole lot to, but we did add our um, Hildebrand family painting that we got at Disneyland to the front door, and I really like how that looks there. We have also added a new key rack so that hopefully I won't lose my keys again. <laughs> That is an experience I don't want to have to ever do again. So here in the living room, um, we have our TV that was previously in our living room before. We really like it there. It looks nice. The shutters were already in the house before, so they're the same. We've added some Halloween decorations, added some pictures here and there, new coffee table and side tables. They were one of the things that took forever to come in, but I love them. Yes, for sure. We did get a new Disney sign for the room. Of course, Enchanted Tiki Room. Hello, there's Morgan. We did also get um, new couches for the living room up here. We just decided to get some cheaper couches from Big Lots to get us through for now. Trying to shop for furniture during a, a worldwide pandemic is not easy. A lot of times we were told that things were gonna take four to six months to come in. This only took like a month and a half to come in. So, and we like them, they're comfy, they're nice. So we decided to go with this for now. And eventually we'll probably yeah, upgrade, but for now, these are great. And then of course it is uh, Halloween time. So we have our pumpkin stuff on the uh, <laughs> on the mantle. The uh, fireplace is a little bit more cleaned up with the TV and best sensey warmer over here. It's not on currently, but it's the villain's one. So this is our dining area. Since we had such a large space to fill and I wanted to be able to host family dinners if I wanted to, I got a table that was big enough to seat at least eight people. Currently there is a leaf in it and it does match my di or my coffee table and end tables in the living room. And I'm really super happy with it, but it took about four months to come in. Um, and then we also have the matching hutch and server that uh, will be really nice, especially when having family dinners, we can put stuff over there to help serve food. And here, the things we've changed are we, Eric got a new coffee maker. We got some new bread boxes. There isn't as much pantry food storage area in this kitchen that was in our previous kitchen. Yeah, unfortunately. So we are keeping our bread there. Um, we're hoping eventually to come up with a better storage solution, but this is as good as we can get it for now. We did get a nice uh, black stainless toaster that we love, four slice. Our Google Home. Uh, we added a pan oh. rack in here for some extra storage. It holds the lids and the pots. And we did get nice new stainless steel pots and pans. Honestly, I was a little intimidated by the stainless steel at first, but uh, cooking with them has been great, actually. Okay, I think that's about all we've done in here so far. We did add a smart smoke detector in here because the previous one that was there is expired, which we didn't know that smoke detectors expired but um, our home inspector told us about that. Eric has added all smart home switches up here for the lights and the fan. We have a Google Nest. The kids bathroom, which really hasn't changed anything. Yeah, it hasn't changed since you guys seen the bathroom last. Okay, so now we've got Devin's room with a bundled up Devin and a dirty TV. <laughs> Look, there's a Devin, there's his bed. Which uh, he got a new comforter. Yep. Um, new side table. My, our bedroom wasn't big enough for my dresser anymore, so he inherited that. 
Yep. He has a nice shelf in here to display his Mickey ears. Of course. And, and then, then um, Eric mounted Devin's TV to the wall, which was the TV that we had planned to put in the family room downstairs. And then Eric decided to upgrade. I mean, come on, guys. This is only 50 inch. You can't, like, use that as your main booby TV, right? Drop a comment below. This is just um, the kids' closet for the bathroom and, like, a linen closet. I did add this to the wall that I really like. It's not applied the best, but I did the best I could. I mean, it's still a pretty cool little addition to the end of the hallway here. I did add some more smart switches in here. And then these are like little temperature sensors for the, the nest. In here, we painted that wall a navy blue instead of the red color that we didn't care for. Um, we've got a new comforter. And um, here is Eric's dresser. I share. He does. Mm -hmm. We added a couple extra shoe shelves to the closet. Other than that, nothing much in there. We haven't added, to, you know, changed anything in this closet. Just storing our things. In here, I did add the shelf that was in our previous bathroom because I thought that space back there was kind of dead space or a wasted space. The bathrooms didn't have any toilet paper holders in them, so we got some freestanding toilet paper holders for those. Amazing thing about the cabinets in the bathroom, though, is that they are soft close. Love that. Everything else, we pretty much love the way it was. We added a towel rack to the back of the door. and Oh, uh, yeah, the shower thing. We added a, we added a couple, like, sh storage shelves. Here for, they're just, uh, what are they, command strip yeah. things? But they work well, actually. And a little squeegee holder for our glass. I did just add some um, clear bumpers on the walls because when these cabinets would open, they were banging on the wall. So I just added some clear bumpers to kind of give them a little softer spot. Other than that, the backyard. Okay, guys. So out here, we added all the furniture on the deck. I really love our outdoor table we got. Once again, I got a bigger one that would um, seat six people. So we have room for our family and guests. We do have the rug underneath because I didn't want the chairs to scratch the Trex decking. There you go, you can kind of see the uh, pattern. It's, uh, it looks kind of like a tile, but it's actually metal. We also have the two plastic rocking chairs that we really like. We also added the security camera. Yep, it's right over there. We won't show you all the cameras, but you know, that one's pretty obvious. We fixed the step coming up onto the deck because it had sunk and was slanted so that if it was wet, it would be a very big fall hazard. On the level down here, we have Eric's Weber kettle grill. I got Eric this grilling table cart for Father's Day. It's a nice way to um, store all the grilling stuff and it gives him some place to put all the plates and the tongs and everything when he's grilling. So we've got a whole bunch of critters that live back here, <laughs> including we have a chipmunk that lives in the retaining wall. So we do feed them daily. <laughs> yeah, Beth uh, actually bought critter food, so. We have the six Adirondack chairs or, yeah, six Adirondack chairs for the fire pit. We haven't really got to enjoy it a whole lot because it's been fairly warm this year, but looking forward to that. We also purchased the deck box, which we use to keep the cushions for the table and chairs and any games and firewood and critter food. Uh, and then there is our um, garden hose rack, a reel. Yep. Uh, I think that's mainly what we've done um, outside, except for the fact that we had a tree blow down, yeah. but we had some help from a neighbor cutting up and it is all stacked there and ready for the fire pit. Right there, can't really go too far further in, but it's right there, yeah. And there is one of our kitties. Thank you, hey princess. We do have a new member of the family, but I don't know if she'll let us show her or not, so we'll see when we go back inside. Okay guys, this is the newest member of the family. This is Binks, nod to Hocus Pocus. <laughs> and um, she is Morgan's kitty. She came to us from the Boone County Animal Shelter and she's about four years old and she is a snuggler. <laughs> All right, so that wraps up the tour. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead back downstairs and finish up the video. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that finished tour of our new home. 
What do you guys think? Did you like it? Why don't you drop a comment below and let us know what you liked, what you changed, uh, or any suggestions you have for us. Or if you have any questions about where we got anything or what we have in our house. As long as we know the answer, we'd be more than happy to answer it for you. Sure. That also brings up a good point, too. So um, we did go through a company called Patio to get this uh, house uh, as our, our you know, financing like, company. Yep. So uh, we will, uh, David and Shelby, they were great. Uh, they're Indiana, so it's FHA, veterans loans, and just your traditional loans. So they handle all that. If you want to contact them, we'll put their information in the description box below. Uh, Keith will probably pen it if you want to reach out to them. They do, uh, I think it's all of the U.S., but David and Shelby are, are mainly Indiana. But anyway, uh, they were great to work with. We love them. Home buying, as you know, is stressful and going through the process. Everything's a lot different nowadays, so. For sure. So we definitely enjoyed their uh, help in this process, so. I do want to say, little secret, we might have something special coming to the vlog in the spring. Ooh. Ooh. Getting just have dropping to juicy bits on them. Just got to stay tuned and wait and see. That's for all you hardcore people that make it to the end of these videos. Also, uh, drop a like on this video, too. Anyway, uh, don't, don't click off yet. We're going to leave a... Some end cards with some video suggestions, and we'd be happy if you'd check them out. Don't forget merch. Oh, yeah, we have merch. There should be a tray down down here somewhere for, uh, you can click on the merch. There should be some new merch now, and for the future thing that's coming next year. But uh, anyway, <laughs> we really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot for uh, sticking around with us and uh, going on this home tour with us. So we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace, Peace and love. love.